Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 11 of the Disgaea 2 PC LP. So uh, in the off time I have done a bit of uh, grinding, gotten some people up to level 50, more accidentally than anything, uh, in the dark world with the Mothmen. Um, I have also unlocked the Cave of Ordeals and uh, I did that. I also uh, made Adela Senator and passed the Stronger Voice Bill three times, which is the max, so he's a pretty good senator. Um, and I have been doing a lot of it just to, uh, bribe the wood people, the moth people, and the orcs, because they're the best ones to, uh, bribe in this game. As the Basiels, you can't bribe, so they're hard to get on your team. Uh, the laser demon guys, uh, are almost always drunk, so they're just unreliable, and the ghosts are usually sleeping. So, uh, that's what I've been doing, uh, yeah, and I also, uh, switched Adele's weapon to a sword, just because it has a higher attack than his fists, and I figured that would be fine. Um, okay, so let's go. Um, Corpse Garden. Huh? This is strange. The monster we are waiting for should have found us by now. Shh. He must not hear us. What sort of monster are we searching for? You said it was unique to the swamp. It had better not be extinct already. How old are those legends? Have some patience, my dear princess. Do not worry. The monster will find us soon. what we are looking for or uh, something that looks like that ah there it is N -n no stupid a new kind of monster princess we must run don't look back leave only your memories behind if father if overlord xenon is the one who kills him then his death will have had meaning but to be killed by a nameless monster in the pursuit of his life's goal would mean he had died in vain. And if he dies, Taro and Hanako will be really sad. Princess, are you getting soft? You are a demon! Not to mention you are also the daughter of Overlord Xenon! The weak will perish! That is the way of the world! Princess... Do you count how many eggs were cracked this morning to make your omelettes? Uh, it doesn't say this morning. Come on, guys, follow the script. Oh, omelettes? I prefer veal and truffles for breakfast. What you eat for breakfast is beside the point, huh? The point I try to make is that you must make sacrifices to survive. Princess, someday you will rule over every demon. Such happy, sugar-coated thinking will not work with them. But he is different, Tink. He did not take me hostage. And he has even promised to return me to my father. And what is even more bizarre is he continues to struggle toward keeping that promise. Making a promise to an enemy or even trusting an enemy. I cannot understand why he did it. I wish to discover what his true intentions are. Princess, what do you speak of? That was uncalled for. Who is responsible? Who wishes to receive the thrashing of their life? You, stay right there. It is 2,000 spankings for you. Okay. So I like how they call it a new monster when I've already encountered this one before a couple times. Um, but that is beside uh, the point. Um, uh, okay. There's a golden one up there. Oh wow, didn't even realize that he had gotten a new move. Okay, and... Uh, 
Setting uh, effect. I always have to remember to uh, turn it back on. Damn, that's pretty effective. Okay, so that means I need to come over here. Uh, Vulcan Blaze. So now that uh, I have quite good weapons and even more levels on these enemies, I would say we are going to steadily rip through them quite fast. And I thought about passing some stronger enemy builds, but I figure, you know, if I'm grinding and just uh, gonna be doing, like, going so far over them anyway, why bother? Like, honestly, I might just make them weaker, because um, they're not going to be getting levels. That's the thing, anymore. Like, that was the point the original time, was to put their uh, level, like, the enemy's level, above my characters, so that while they were killing them, they were getting up to the higher level. But now I've grinded above those stronger enemies, and it might just actually take more time away. Ooh, that was close. We were fortuitous that it was just a baby. That may have just saved our lives. Huh? Do you know about these monsters? Oh, well, well, yes, of course. After all, it is common knowledge that the older ones grow as strong as level 100 or higher. Level 100? Huh. We better be careful the next time we see them. Princess. The buffoon was lucky this time, but he will not survive the next time, huh? <laughs> you do not look very happy. Did you not plan to kill him from the start? I suppose. But he trusts me. And he is trying to keep his promise to me, his enemy. I cannot understand why he is doing this. I wish to observe just how far he is willing to take this. Princess, do you feel all right? Has being out in the outside world for the first time clouded your mind? Perhaps. I may be acting irrationally at the moment. Please forgive me, Tink. But you will have to put up with my madness for a little while longer. Overlord Xenon. Have you found the princess? No. Not yet. Fool. Why have you returned then? We uncovered an interesting bit of information during our hunt for the princess. Well, tell me what you found. The palace near Ho Village was attacked. Could this be the doing of that demon lord who is rumored to be hiding out there? That is the most likely scenario. <laughs> A mere demon lord trying to oppose an overlord. They do not know their place. Fine. Lure that demon lord out into the open. We understand. As you wish, my master. Uh huh. What happened? How we get back to town? Sorry, but you need a pass before you can go to Tragedy Land. Pass? Yes. Only those who have committed a crime can travel there. Those who have committed a crime. Yes. One of you will have to become a convicted criminal to go through. You gotta be kidding, right? Okay. So this is introducing the sub uh, Puina. Su I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Subpina. Subpina. Something like that from the post officer to continue. But I mean. God damn it. Okay, hello there. 
Mr. Tink. <laughs> for me? This meeting was issued for a crime at your existence, it says. I'm sorry I was born, but what the hell is that? Is he a felon now? Not yet. Next you have to go through the item welder. Take the subpoena you received to the item welder and enter the item world of that subpoena. The item world of the subpoena will have a dark court so you can receive your felony there. Am I the only one who feels like we're just getting sent all over the place? This is how bureaucracy works. I wonder if I can just skip. Damn it. Okay. I wonder if they're crim Yeah, so, Prennies are criminals. Um, so let's come over here. Um, I might just claim prize. Astro Orb. Not bad, but don't really need it. Okay. So, I'm going to actually... Oh, God damn it. Okay, so it's forcing me to go over here with uh, the subpoena. I wonder if I could... Okay, I could still do this. Um... Oh, damn it. Okay. Well, damn it. <laughs> Mashed X a little bit too hard. I was hoping maybe I could just uh, go and do the DLC, but oh well. Yeah, I know. Yep. Go. I'm world select that peanut. Uh, subpoena resident level 9 plus, whatever. So even though I've already been to the item world or could go there already, nothing was stopping me, they still, uh, find the need to do this because of uh of course on the fourth level of this item world see that the status of this item is bailiff four. Oh, okay that's nice because i forgot about that it means the okay it's on the fourth level okay but the person who actually enters the court will receive the trial and the felony that's possible that my crown wants you to deal that's right by the way you won't be able to return to town until you finish 10 levels even after the trial is done should have told us that first. If you really want to come back to town, you can use the this item, Mr. Jensi Exit. It took me so long to learn to figure out that, oh, it's uh, emergency. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do first is turn off both ally and enemy effects. And unfortunately, about uh, earlier games, um, the... Uh, Um, the, I'm trying to think of how to say it best, um, not many, uh, the, the, the I'm world maps are still small, that's, that's what I'm trying to say, um, because later on g the games are, uh, the games have the maps be like quite small, condensed, and it makes the uh, entire process go a lot faster. Uh, okay, just end world there. So, uh, in these early games, um, they, it's just like, you usually you just get a tower of people with a lot of move, and you just try and finish it as fast as possible, because why bother? Um, but in the newer ones, they sort of like almost force you to fight through the enemies, um, just to make it, uh, just to get the bonuses. Um, um, Rose Liberation. We can look at that one later. I'm hoping that that may have, uh, Nope, okay. Whatever. Now I'm gonna attack. Because I'm not worried about these guys actually doing damage. It's just a matter of uh, them being in the way and actually taking time away to fight them. But luckily, sometimes you'll get worlds like this where the... Uh, where the gate is within walking distance, like one turn walking distance of the of the thing. Uh, fourth level, this is where the court gates are. No matter who the subpoena is for, the finally goes to the person who enters the gate, so we should be careful. So, one other thing is that you can... Uh, so, I don't care about um, Azra getting the thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the people that I want to get it, that can lift, 
and put them uh, all around. Um, and unfortunately, uh, I, I actually wonder if I... Um, let's... Um, I care less about Tink, so I'm going to do this. So have him pick up Gig, have her pick up Adele, have her pick up Rosalind. Um, is there anyone else I care about? No. Okay. And have her pick up Hanako, throw them all in. And I'm wondering if the magic change will still have it uh, be affected by the court. It looks like it. Silence! Silence! Order in the court! It is an honor for demons to commit heinous and devious criminal acts. I will now pass judgment according to netherworld law. Jeez. Now what's going on? Not only is this the wrong defendant, but he's brought his whole entourage, dude! Punk kids these days think they can just do whatever they want. Oh well, moving on. We, the Dark Court, give whoever you are our highest praise. Dude. Uh, yeah, and grant the rest one felony on a criminal record, you unruly mob. of the few, the proud, the ultimate sinners. Good luck. Case closed. Court adjourned. Dude. Got dark rosary. Cool. So basically, uh, now have we successfully gotten a felony? Is something to be happy about? Now that the girl's achieved, are we going through the 10th level? Use our misdirection. Okay. So basically, I'm not going to use the Mr. Jurgency, or because it's they're more rare in this game than other ones. Um... So might as well just try and run to the end. Um, uh, oh shit, is she on a death blow? Okay, I hope she wasn't. I hope she was. Um, yeah, they're hard to get in this game. You have to it, genuinely get them through uh, bonus rewards, um, but you don't always get them that way. Um... Um, I'll just do this. Yeah, take them out. So now they all have uh, one felony, which the felonies, uh, as I said before, add that percentage of XP. Um, so one extra percent for every kill of XP. And they also make it easier to pass bills in the uh, Dark Assembly. So that's another good reason why you should do them. Um, evade no close combat. Just do that. And turn. So, uh, I might just do a bunch of uh, subpoenas to grind the neck. Like, that might be my next thing that I try and do a bit of. Just because... Uh, it makes the bills easier to pass if I ever really want some bills. Although I did pass the Cave of Ordeals, which is probably one of the hardest ones that I'm going to, like, try to get. Well, I already passed it, so I don't need to try to get it. But what I mean is, um, like, it, that would have been, like, the hardest one that I think I'm going to try and get, essentially. Because that's a, just a good grinding thing. Um, I don't think I need to kill that guy, but fuck it. Oh, god damn it. Um, okay. He probably could have finished it, but... I'm fine with having Hanako uh, be, like, the runner. Because got nine move, which is pretty damn good. The only person I can imagine doing better is uh, getting Planaire and just having her attack and then move. So she gets the plus three. Um. Whatever. Not 
too worried about anything. Ah, pirates. Okay. So pirates will just randomly show up on a map, and if you kill them, you get a map. And if you... There's like 16 different pirates. Um, they're generally hard, but I can probably take this one out simply by... Um, well, I'm gonna try and poison it first. Uh, just in case shit goes awry. Um, Vulcan Blaze, Rosalind, uh, Rose Liberation, let's try that. Okay, yeah, got a treasure map, uh, and I also got a uh, treasure hunter from uh, Steam Achievements. Oh, man. Um, okay, kill them. She's poisoned. I'm not sure if that carries over to the next stage, but it doesn't really matter because we're going to be on 10. So, could kill him, doesn't really matter, um, especially in this case, because, um, uh, because, uh, we're not trying to get, like, a good item, but I'll do it anyway, just to say I did it. Okay. Okay, and then just come over here and leave. Okay, and then we have like the standard uh, ones in the other games as well. Um, where you can make the items better over here, or change their names or whatever. You can heal to continue on, or you can leave, which I'm gonna leave. See, this one's mean because it starts on Return to the Item World instead of Escape. Yeah, so the level goes up. And generally, you would, uh, like, you don't need to keep the subpoena. Like, it's just a useless item now. But I'm gonna save. Um, hello. There, I got the felony, and I can go to the next map. Good work. Uh, I see you have a criminal record, now you may go to trash land. Be careful. Normal demon will not set up such a complicated trick. Maybe a demon lord trick. Well, good luck and don't lose your lives. Demon lord could be demon lord Etna. Um, let's do some summoning experiments. Might as well try and get Amaz and Sapphire. Uh, well, preparation's done. Uh, we can summon Strong Swordsman. Strong Swordsman, are you sure about this? What do you mean? Your stomach skills, I mean you haven't even had any formal training. Are you sure this is alright? Uh, don't worry about it, you can count on me. Every single one starts with an explosion. Oh, is this supposed to explode? <laughs> That's weird. Hello, Almas, you weak bitch. Uh, cock off, where am I? Uh, this is the strongest swordsman. Fine, I'll be happy to test this male swordsman. I'm ready, bring it on. Hey, settle down the strongest swordsman. There must be some misunderstanding here. Misunderstanding? So you're not the strongest swordsman? That can't be right, my summonings are perfect. Look at me, I'm too timid to be the strongest to anything, not to mention I'm very frightened right now. Besides, I'm not even ready to fight anyone could beat me up right now. How can I possibly be the strongest swordsman? Hmm, he presents a strong case. Hanukkah appears to that your summon was a horrible failure this time. You don't know that yet? He's gotta be pretending to be a weakling. Who are you and where are you from? Me, I'm Amaz, and right now I'm from Evil Academy. Evil Academy? Are you a demon? Yes, sir. <laughs> Damn, I shouldn't have said that. So you really are a demon. I almost didn't notice that because of your extreme wussiness. Even if you aren't the strongest swordsman, I still have a good enough reason to fight you. I, Adele, the demon hunter, will kick your ass all the way back to hell. No, I'm a human, not a demon. Even if you are a human, you take it in with demons, you traitor. That's not it. I'm actually a hero, too. A hero, but even still, you go to Evil Academy. That's good enough for me. <laughs> Adele just does not give a fuck. He just wants to beat him up. <laughs> it's not like I even chose to come here. Don't worry. It'll be all... It'll all be over soon. I'm gonna have a frog beat you up. I hope that makes you feel better. Aw. You got beaten by an amphibian. A flying amphibian. An avian amphibian. <laughs> Huff huff, not bad. <laughs> your eyes are so pure and there's no hesitation with your sword. Are you really not a demon? That's what I told you. 
Uh, sorry, I'm a person that can get a little complicated. Once I start believing something, it's hard for me to stop. That's called being stubborn. Oh, well, I'm glad we finally understand each other, so can we go home now? Nope, you see, I'm still learning. I can only summon you. I can't send you back. What the hell? My Hanako, that is mighty careless of you. It's not something to admire. It's so malicious. Well, what is done is done, and there's no use crying over spilt milk. Not even Taras. So until she learns how to send you back, please make yourselves at home. No, why has this always happened to me? Am I cursed or something? Yeah, so basically, Disguise 3, you have the main character, Mao. Uh, Almas crying about having no way to get home has joined your group. So you have Mao, who's just like a nerd who likes heroes. He transfers his title of, like, demon to Almaz in exchange for Almaz's title of hero because Mao thinks being a hero will allow him to beat his father. And then antics ensue. Um... Actually, I should probably save, because uh, I want to... I'm not sure if I just saved. I My memory is terrible when it comes to saving. i um, going to come over here, enter assembly. Uh, Rosalyn, I guess, is fine. Uh, uh, might as well just do this. Um, even weaker enemies. Go. Yeah, see, at least they're nice enough to make enemies going down, like, near impossible to uh, fail. And I feel like that's... Uh... Okay, so now we're at... Um... Okay, now we're at the lowest level. Save again. So I'll make things go even faster. And I want to at least look at the first thing of Cave of Ordeals. Let's see. Okay. I sort of remember this. So we got... Uh, heal 20%. Okay. And they're all level 60. Uh, they got attack and all that shit. Uh, and that's no. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have... Come over here. Lift that. So it applies. And I'm going to attack plus 50. Heal 20%. Plus defense. And attack plus 1. Going to come over here, get rid of that. Actually, I'll have her hold it in case I get someone on one of the things. And then I'll get Felt to come over here and get this one. This one's just fine to get rid of. I'll just throw that one immediately. And I'll get Aja. Well, no, okay, whatever. Now I want to start doing this. Uh, do that. And do this. I think that should take them out. Um, I'm going to actually turn on ally effects again. Tink, you can come over here. Nail bat. Gig. Come over here. Do just do it on them. Let's see how that goes. Okay. Quite good. So now I can use uh, Rosalind to use Rose Liberation on the other two. So you can see how the Cave of Ordeals is quite good for uh, grinding, as they already add the XP plus things. Okay. So I like a lot of, like, the main characters easily get some of the coolest, like, uh, skills that you get at, like, the given levels. Especially in this game. Um, I really... Like, in Disgaea 5, there are only a couple characters that I really like their special skills. Um, like, uh, Achilles. His was his were awesome. So. And basically, the cave where it deals is meant to be the grinding stages. Like, if you beat them the first time, uh, grinding 
on them should be something you do. Um, so I'm gonna save, and uh, with that, I'm gonna call the episode here. So I hope you all have a very nice day, and will join me in the next episode. Bye!